probably can't see it on camera, and if you could, I can't tell if you could or not, but right back there somewhere in the jungle, so many plants here, it's, you know, but somewhere right back in here, right there, there is a ripe Rhomboidium pepper, and we're going to pick that one, and we are going to taste test it, but I can't do it while I'm holding the camera because I got to set up ladders to get back there. There's no physical way I can physically get there like this. I have to literally set up a ladder and I have to pick it and then bring it to you. So just hang tight. Let's pick that pepper and I'll be right back. All right, we picked it and here it is. And it looks like I'm going to get quite a few peppers off of there. I don't know how many seeds are in each pepper, but it looks like we're going to get a pretty good amount. So I'll be kind of happy with that. But here it is. That is it. The Rumbio Idiom, I think it's pronounced. Not, I'm saying Rumbio Diem. No, that's actually wrong. It's actually Rumbio Idiom or something. So that's it. It's a little hard. This is like a weeble wobble, but it don't fall down. It always stands back up. Look at that. Get you out to some sunlight here, because this thing... Look at that. Tell me that's not a beaut. It's tiny. Maybe you see it better here? Now, I know some of you have been saying... that you've been trying to grow this like me for years and you never got a fruit. Well, this is what it's eventually going to look like. Just like that. It's eventually going to look just like that. Let me try to get you into... There you go. That looks a good light right there. That's what it's going to look like. That took me over three years to grow that. We're finally here with a little perseverance. Now, that particular variety of plant... It just did not want to, not only not flower, but it never really grew right. It just gave me a hard time growing. And I want to show you something in the garden. Let me show you the one out here. Now, I'm probably not going to bring this one in. But we'll show it to you anyway. So, I do got a rumbo idiom right here. Right down there. Did I see that plant? Now, I want to talk about that for a second. Now, the main base of the plant is roughly right there. I'm not sure if my camera's picking this up or what. It's right there. But as you can see, there's shoots popping up all around this area from this plant, throwing out runners underground, and they're popping up shoots all over the place. Not that they're being very productive because it's not making any fruit, but it is doing it nonetheless, doing something that peppers don't normally do. I've never seen a pepper spread out underground and start putting up shoots other places. So I've never seen another pepper plant do that, but this one actually does. And again, I'll just show you what's going on back here. It's kind of buried away back here, but it is growing here somewhere. I don't even know. But it's not producing fruit, which is pretty sad to be honest with you. So again, if it's not producing fruit, I'm probably not going to bring that one in, but the one in the greenhouse, I think I'm going to keep that one because it's already up to that stage where it's mature enough to produce fruit. So I think I'm going to keep that one. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go inside and turn you around and uh, let's give this one a go. All right, guys, so here we are. That's it right there. That's the rum bioidium. First time I'm ever going to get to taste this pepper. Might be the last. I don't know. I do got a few more up there on there. I mean, it's pr putting out a, quite a few peppers. The problem is, what I think is happening is the peppers are ripening like this and they're falling off the plant, you know, relatively quick. And I can't get to them very easily. Now, now did I know that my plant was going to do this? I had no idea. Growing this thing for three years, I thought it would never... I just stuffed it in the back because I didn't want to throw it out. But... <laughs> It's producing fruits now, so now I want to keep it. But I think what's happening is in the back of the area where it's growing, the peppers are ripening and dropping off. And that would really suck if that was because now i got to hunt around to see if I can find any of those berries and uh, keep them. But I, I don't know. I, there are, there's quite a few on there now. There's at least two to three dozen at least on there. So 
you know, that's that's a good amount for me to work with anyway. And I just hope they don't fall off and just I have to go hunting around for them. But that's it right there. That's your um, bioidium. All right, so here we go. Let's give it a taste test. So as you can see, I got two seeds out of that. There might be a third one floating around in my mouth. They're very tiny. I got to like hunt it down to find it. So I got two seeds out of it. They look like they're they're very tiny, very tiny seeds, and they look like they're almost brown in color when they come out. Not a flavor. I, I it tastes like something I just recently ate. It tastes like a cherry. It tastes like a cherry, a, a very red, juicy type of really ripe dark cherry. You ever get a really good cherry where you just crack right into it and it's really dark red in the inside it's really sweet this has that type of flavor to it doesn't taste like cherry necessarily the flavor of it kind of tasted like one of my berries that i grow the uh those uh what do you call those things those sunberries wonder berries it tasted kind of like a wonder berry believe it or not the flavor part of it, the sweetness and flavor part of it, was like eating a cherry. I, I, I don't know any other way to describe that. It's a very strange flavor. It was on the sweet side. There was no heat on it. And it just had like, when you initially ate it, the essence that comes out of it was like that black cherry type of effect and flavor I'm talking about. Then the flavor that kind of comes out, which is very small because there's not much on that pepper... The flavor that kind of came out afterwards, that flavor kind of reminded me of one of the sunberries that I grow. Those blueberries that you see me grow, but very lightly. There, there, there wasn't, it wasn't like my mouth is overwhelming with flavor. I really had to search around to get that flavor. I had to really break into that pepper very slowly and kind of let it come out very evenly and slowly so I could capture whatever is in there. It's so small. You have to eat a handful of these just to try to identify that flavor. It's just, I'm really hunting for it, and that's why I found that flavor on it. But it's not a hot pepper. It's a sweet pepper, and it's just a very strange type of flavor. It's very pleasant, to be honest with you. I would love to take a handful of those things. Literally, if I had like handfuls of them, press the juice out of that, and then press that juice into a glass and drink it. I would do anything to do that but i'd have to have thousands of those plants growing to even come remotely close to what we're even suggesting here it's just not realistic but i bet you that juice would be so amazing to taste it like a, in a glass full with of those peppers pressed out of them berries you'd need literally five gallon bucket full of those things to get one glass of juice because they're very small and there's not a whole lot inside of them it's almost all skin and seed that's really it that little bit of flavor that comes out it's just a tease really but it's good i enjoyed it i definitely enjoyed that i'm actually honored now to say that i've actually did it i finally got to grow and taste test my very first rum boidium pepper so anyways i hope that's kind of inspiring to some of you who have been growing it and you might want to continue growing it don't give up yet I almost gave up, and you would never see this video had that been the case, but I, I've stuck it out for years, and we're finally here, and this is finally a an, an experience that I never thought I would actually get to experience unless I traveled to, the, to where they're native in that country and just start picking them off the tree and eating them. But living up in the Northeast, growing a plant like this is a very big challenge, so... Very honored, very proud. It's it's a new notch in my belt, so to speak. And uh, we're going to keep that one going through the winter. I'm going to keep that alive. I don't think it's going to keep flowering and making peppers because usually the plant dies back a little. But next year, it should put out some more peppers. I mean, it's already putting them out now. It's, you know, the other plant outside, I'm probably not going to keep because I've just, I ain't got time, honestly, and room for 10 pots of this stuff. So... Anyway, that was it. That was your pod review for the capsaicin rhomboidium. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. <laughs>